invasive species that have become quite a problem. Whether it's nutria and possums in Oregon, or wild horses in Idaho, quagga mussels in Michigan, and the Asian carp in the Mississippi River. And it's not just animals anymore, it's plants too, like yellow star thistle, or tansy ragwort. Tansy ragwort is a bad ombre. It kills cattle, and it kills horses, and it'd kill you if you were slow enough to eat some of the stuff. Awesome. So what to do? Well, make sure your boat's clean before you put it in the river. Wash your waders. Don't let those touch a mountain stream without being clean. And uh, if you're going in the back country, wash them hiking boots. Keep them clean. We don't want you tracking any seeds. Don't turn loose any non-native plants into an ecosystem or an environment. It's not good. It can push those animals and plants out of existence. We can really mess things up. So be careful. And I would tell you, keep your eyes on your science teacher, or should I say your eye, and make sure they don't release any of them red-sided crayfish from the East Coast into our western rivers and streams. Down the trail. Some folks say we can eat our way out of this Asian carp problem. I say bon appetit to them fellas. Tansy ragwort, it's a killer. Don't let it get started in your yard. Yellow star thistle destroys habitat, just makes things into a wasteland. Quagga mussels, zebra mussels, you can't eat them. I don't know. Keep your boat clean and don't transport them anyplace else.